Hello and welcome to lecture today. I'm your instructor Sarah Miller. Today we will be learning about some basic communication models and then applying a model to a communication interaction you have had. By the end of this lecture you will be able to describe two basic models of communication and then choose one to apply to a communication interaction you've had. The first model is communication as message transfer. In this model a sender develops and sends a message across a channel, which is then received by a receiver. So the primary components of this model are the sender, the sent message, the channel the message is sent through, the received message, and the recipient. This model also accounts for noise, which I've shown here visually as music, but really can be anything, actual noise, distractions, really anything that interferes with the sent message being received accurately. For example, if I send an email to my friend who has a spotty internet connection, I'm the sender, the text of the email is the message, the channel is email, my friend is the receiver. However, how she receives the original message may be affected by the quality of her internet connection. That's the noise. Model 2 is communication as message exchange. In this model, all of the elements of message transfer are present. So a sender develops and sends a message across a channel to a receiver. An additional element is added. The message receiver gives feedback to the message sender, thus completing a loop of communication. In my email example, this model could be applied if my friend communicated back to me after receiving my email. This could be in the form of an email reply, a phone call, or any other communication. In this model, as in the first, noise can affect the quality of the communication. Now on to your assignment. Think of a time you communicated with another person. Briefly explain the interaction. Then, choose either model number one or model number two and explain how your interaction fits into the model. Please include describing the components of the model and explain how they apply to the situation you describe. Explain why you chose the model you chose and how did the model affect the quality of the communication. Thanks for your attention today. Please let me know if you have any questions.